A neurologist deals with the diseases of the nerves and muscle. But the crucial part is dealing with the neuromuscular junction, the interface between the nerve and muscle. Let me just give you an example. If I want to write a prescription, I first need the pain. And when I put the pain out of my pocket, the idea is generated in the brain. And that impulse, the electrical impulse, travels all the way from the brain through the spinal cord to the muscle that moves my hand to the pocket take, to take the pain out. Now, in this complex circuit, whenever there is any problem, we get a neurological problem. For example, if the disease is with the cortex, cortex of the brain, then we get the stroke. The patient is paralyzed on one side. But the tricky part is the neuromuscular junction. One example of the neuromuscular junction disorder is myasthenia gravis. So if you suddenly see that you are feeling tired towards the end of the day and your eyelids are coming down like cartons and you have difficulty swallowing food, especially the liquids, then you need to think of the neuromuscular junction disorder. In, in very advanced stage, you see that patients have got drooped neck, head and they have got extreme difficulty in breathing. That sort of thing is called crisis. The problem with neuromuscular junction disorder is that you need to have a high index of suspicion because patient might present with various non-specific symptoms. For example, tiredness. Everybody feels tired. But then we need to know how to distinguish that tiredness from myasthenia gravis. So if you have symptoms like extreme tiredness, which is fatigable, fluctuating throughout the day, if you see that eyes are becoming smaller, then you need to consult neurologist as soon as possible. Don't ignore those symptoms. Stay well, stay healthy, stay with us.